Hello and a welcome to this very realistic what I ate in a day video. Today was a bit of a slower day for me, so I had a bit more time to prepare a couple meals from scratch, but I did also incorporate some leftovers into my meals as they were taking up some serious real estate in my fridge. No fancy filming or lighting setups in this video today, just a very raw and real look into a typical day of plant-based eating. Breakfast today was cranberry apple pumpkin spice baked oatmeal, and I recently actually just posted a full recipe video for this on the channel, so click here if you're interested in seeing how to make it. I've been eating a lot of oatmeal lately for breakfast because it's great for weight loss, which I am currently on a little bit of a weight loss journey of my own. Very filling, but very low in calories. It's nourishing, it's full of fiber. It is so flavorful because I used pumpkin pie spice. We've got cranberries and apples. I topped it with some walnuts, maple syrup, just a touch, and it's delicious. I could eat this every day, and I pretty much have been for the last week or so. Later in the morning, I was feeling a little bit snackish and I had just remembered that I had recently saved some of the seeds from a butternut squash I had used the day before in a recipe. So I decided to toast them up a bit, make myself a little crunchy snack. So in a bowl, I just combined the seeds with a bit of maple syrup and some cinnamon and a bit of sea salt. Stirred them until they were coated and uh, pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes on a lower temperature, like 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And this was the result. It was so good. Like, listen to that crunch. Ugh. It wasn't like a lot of seeds, but it was, it was enough to satisfy my craving for something sweet, salty, and crunchy. And uh, yeah, if you've never made your own toasted squash seeds, definitely, definitely give it a try. We just celebrated Canadian Thanksgiving a few days ago over the weekend, and we had a lot of leftovers in our fridge. So leftovers for lunch it was, including some delicious gluten-free stuffing I'd made, some Brussels sprouts, yams, barnet squash, cranberry sauce. We also had a few other random leftovers from previous days, like some roasted potatoes and very random baked beans. I know it didn't really go, but you know, I had to eat them up, so it, it, it did the job. It was still good. Everything was awesome. I love Thanksgiving leftovers. They are literally the best. As delightful as Thanksgiving leftovers were, I didn't feel like eating it again for dinner, so I made soup, this Thai-inspired noodle soup. It was delicious. I used a bit of coconut milk, some red Thai curry paste, a lot of vegetables I had in my fridge, plus some firm tofu. It was delicious. It totally was satisfying and didn't really take that long. The flavor was bomb. I added some extra hot sauce, garnished it with some cilantro and green onion. It was very hot and very delicious. A little while after dinner, I made Brad and I some sleepy time lattes. Now we don't have a milk steamer, so into a little pot, I added some soy milk to warm up until steaming. And then I used some of this Bloom lavender latte mix. It is very good and I'm so glad I have it because it really makes you feel chill and calm and I find it helps me sleep and so does Brad. So I just added a scoop into a mug, added some hot water to dissolve it and a little bit of maple syrup for just a touch of sweetness. And with this handy dandy milk frother I have, also from Bloom, I just frothed up the milk a little bit before pouring into our mugs. And uh, yeah, it works like a charm. Love these lattes. They're such a pretty color and they're very comforting and delicious. Just the perfect thing to sip on, snuggled up under a blanket after a very long day. I have recently fallen in love with powdered peanut butter because it's peanut butter with almost no fat in it and uh, great for when you're on a weight loss journey. So I just whipped up some powdered peanut butter, added a little bit of protein powder to it just to give it this really lovely fluffy whipped texture. That was totally unintentional, but it was a happy accident. And I spread that onto a couple rice cakes and after that just topped it off with some slices of fresh banana because you know got to get that fresh fruit in your diet and uh topped it with some cinnamon and that was it perfect little post dinner dessert that i really enjoyed mm. so good if you've never tried a lavender latte before you should definitely check out bloom not sponsored, just love their stuff. Mmm, 
a lovely nightcap to end off a very long day. Yummy. Thank you so much for tuning into this realistic what I ate in a day video. It was very nice to chill out with you. If you like this video, please do me a solid and give it a big thumbs up. And hey, why not subscribe to the channel while you're at it so you get to see more of my content on a weekly basis. Love you guys lots and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!